Hello everyone, this is Bonus and today's video is about the second part of cream. Okay, so let's figure it out. And yeah, before that, if you have missed the first part, so first watch that one and then come to this. It's a series, right? And all the links are there in the description box. You can figure it out and yep, good to go, right? Here we go and start the session. Before that, don't forget to subscribe huh? and don't forget to share. It takes a lot. <laughs> let's figure it out. So next we have a velvety almond cream, Frenchy pan, right? Similar to almond cream, but it's much lighter in texture. Clear with this? This is lighter in texture when it comes to almond cream, right? Here we go. Almond cream two times and pastry cream one time. You can see here the pastry cream which is like coming back to back. I mean, uh, remember the previous one what we have gone through? Yep, diplomat. Diplomat has pastry cream plus whipped cream. Here we go, Frenchy pan, and it says like velvety almond cream. Why? Because it has pastry cream, and pastry cream is amazing. I must tell you one thing that if you get any time to make something, that make pastry cream, and you will kind of feel that. Okay, fine. What exactly the pastry cream is all about? But make sure you use a good quality ingredients not like a free range or something you're using here and there products and making a pastry cream if you really want to make a really good pastry cream your ingredient matters a lot right your ingredients like what kind of a quality you're using matters a lot right i mean not about just pastry cream but make sure every single thing when it comes to pastry or you can say like you know making a bread also matters what kind of a flour you're using every each ingredient matters twist to one okay the method is cool down the pastry cream once you're done with the pastry cream then cool it down then add the almond cream in this done clear this is all about frangie pan here we go let's figure out the note sweet almond right it's a flavored custard okay it's used inside baked goods you can see here it's used inside baked goods okay that's all about frenchy pen clear let's see the next cream here we go is cream chia boost no it's not the pronunciation how we're gonna pronounce this word is c boost you can see here c boost or you can say c boost right i mean if you confuse with si how to pronounce that's the reason i have written over here as a c c boost Okay, so this is creme sibouste. Creme saint honneur is again a classic French cream. Clear? Pastry cream plus gelatin plus Italian meringue. That is all about creme sibouste. Here we go. Let's figure it out. Ratio. Pastry cream is four times and one time is Italian meringue. And then gelatin we add. Why? For the stability. This is the ratio, you know, and for what reason we use it. Pastry cream four times, one time Italian meringue, and just add gelatin, and that will give you a stability. And that is what all about cream, it's a boost. Clear? Let's figure out the next cream that what we have is a creme mousseline. Okay? Mousseline, mousseline. Everybody's have a different pronunciation, but this is what exactly I call creme mousseline right light and delicate here we go the mixture of pastry cream plus soft butter has been whipped until the light and fluffy it's all time like whipping 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 clear creme mousseline is about pastry cream plus soft butter clear so here we go the, the creme mousseline the base pastry cream cooked on a low flame because of the high ratio of sugar to balance the flavor of the high ratio of butter See, once you started adding butter, because this recipe has a lot of butter. The cream muesli itself has a lot of butter in this recipe, okay? Because if we increase in the butter, we have to increase the sugar. Because, because it's going to be like, you know, like uh, if you have this much sugar, if you have this much of butter, it will balance it. But if you have this much of sugar and you have this much of butter, definitely it's not going to balance it. For me, I mean, okay, let me explain in a different way. If you have this much of sugar, this much of butter, you can balance the sweetness, right? But if this much of sugar and this much of butter definitely not balance the sweetness, right? This will decrease. I mean, you cannot feel like a sweet, sweet something. So if increases butter, we have to increase the sugar. Clear with this? 
So to maintain the perfect sweetness, that's the reason we're gonna increasing the sugar as well as the butter because butter is already increased because Muslim it is. That's the reason more butter. So also increasing in sugar. Simple as that, right? Here we go. Let's turn the page and figure out more about cream muslin making process. See, once the pastry cream is ready, half the amount of butter is added. Once the pastry cream is ready, half of the amount of butter we're gonna use it. And once it cools down, means the pastry cream cools down with the half of the butter mixed, okay, cool down, then we're going to add the remaining butter and we're gonna whip it right then it will give you a really nice buttery you know like a, a proper proper cream a proper cream muesli clear with this here we go let's see the ratio high ratio of sugar high ratio of butter clear one is to two so pastry cream is going to be one and the butter is going to be two means one is two two so much of butter there right means 50 pastry cream if you're using will be adding 100 of butter that's the double so much of butter yep cremo means creamy so the mixture of a creme anglais right thicken with butter and sometimes gelatin right this is optional so mixture which is like creme anglais thicken with butter that is what is all about cremo method make creme anglais cook to 82 celsius add bloom gelatin brought down to 40 degrees celsius and th then soft butter emulsify this is all about the cremo i will explain you in a little more better way what exactly the cremo is all about see the cremo means is the base of cremo is a creme anglais okay when it comes to creme anglais it's, it's very rich but it's actually little different from pastry cream why because pastry cream has a cornstarch in it to thicken the cream but when it comes to creme anglais it doesn't have any any cornstarch right so it's just kind of, of a sauce consistency okay that is what exactly we do it after cool it down we'll add more butter and butter for giving a really nice texture to that and that is what exactly the cremo is all about when it comes to a classic french okay but here you heard of like a cremo like a dark chocolate cremo different different variety of cremo right so the thing is here if you're making a dark chocolate cremo how are you gonna make it make a creme anglais once it's ready check the bottom of the spoon it stays that's perfect right perfect to go pour over the dark chocolate when it comes to the dark chocolate we still prefer 70 percent 70 percent cacao okay a good chocolate if you don't really have it you can go for the carrots okay chocolate carrots but as the best quality of uh, ingredients like chocolate you're going to use it that best crema is going to be right the flavor base or you can say like all over like the crema the best one you're going to make it pour over the chocolate emulsify it until it's really nice thicken or really nice kind of a cream consistency then you put it over a glass container surface sealed and put it in the freezer for two three hours or maybe like i prefer like go for the whole night overnight right it'll give you a really nice crema if you want to add gelatin here we go if you want to add gelatin i don't think so for dark chocolate you don't really require any gelatin because it's a dark chocolate if you go for another cream or i mean if you go for another something that do additional adding then you require it but yeah fruit puree or something else that you want to make it instead of dark chocolate i think so you'll be using I think you need gelatin a bit. So this is all about crema. Crema is nothing. It's all about a creme anglais. Pour over the chocolate, mix it, keep in the freezer for overnight, and then eat it. Best one. Here, the main thing is the ingredient. What kind of ingredient you're using? That what exactly matters. Clear this. Perfect, right? Here we go. Next. The next cream, which is all about Bavarian, also called as various okay mixture of a cream anglais plus gelatin plus whipped cream this actually is a base for a mousse okay here we go base for many types of mousse creme anglais can be flavored with the chocolate right or you can say with fruit it's totally depending on you again what kind of a flavor you want you can just change and you can make a nice cream anglais with chocolate or fruits right the methods drop down the temperature i mean it's the same thing right cream anglais cream anglais 82 bloom gelatin right and then drop it on temperature add a whipping cream 
fold into the mixture fold right that is all about Bavarian cream clear with this focus on this cream only gelatin whipped cream see the thing is we cannot just add this one to this because they are pretty hot and whipped cream never work in hot always goes to cold when it comes to whipping cream always choose cold okay so once temperature down right then we're gonna add then whip or you can do it or you can do one thing separately you can whip this and then fold to this but this temperature is supposed to be go down then only you can whip whip and fold or down add then later you whip clear with this all about Bavarian let's figure it out the next cream to be paste well yes we do actually consider this one as a cream also but yeah this is for the garnishing purposes here we go French word means tiles okay often use of making thin petals like cookies for garnish or you can say decoration baking temperature is gonna be 180 until golden brown okay when the paste is just baked so how to handle when the paste is just baked when the paste is just baked just baked it is soft and can be molded into various when the paste is just baked means just baked paste means freshly right means you are standing in front of the oven and the, you can see the paste is just getting baked right in that moment at the same moment what happened this paste is soft right and you can mold into various shape it is you just take from the baking tray and you just give a shape whatever shape you want to give once it cool down it will be gonna keep the structure okay you cannot mold after that or you cannot even bake that okay once done done simple as that soft and you can mold into various shapes such as curls twist give a dimension of any garnish I mean any shape you can give but you make sure straight from the big tray baking tray and the baking time okay chili paste can be used to make cups cones and serving dessert ice cream you can see this this is what exactly it is yogurt I'm baked yogurt on the top of that I have made that call okay that is what exactly the paste that I was talking about okay this is why this is what the curls just bake and bring it and just make it like boom drop simple as that done here we go some of your types we have almond toy we have a julipan julipan right then we have a brandy snap brandy snap okay so here we go marzipan comes to julipan is an equal amount of milk icing sugar flour mixed together make a paste then do it I mean just flatten up and then bake it and then give a shape but brandy snap butter sugar honey boil it Add flour, make a paste, cool down the spread on a silk pad and bake it. About brandy snap. Okay, and this are like more to garnish that we generally use it. Okay, so this is what all about the cream. Okay, hope you guys clear with this. And yep, I'll be coming with a lot more informative video. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes, it takes a lot to share this all the knowledge. And yep, I'll see you in the next informative video. Till then. Cream. <laughs> bye bye.